felt that this was the best way for customers to experience it and to be able to choose how much of the game they want to invest their time and money into and at the same time bring them a triple A game that is on the Frostbite 2 engine, you know, so super high end graphics and so to really bring that full kind of HD experience and at the same time it gives us a connection directly to the consumers so that we can take the feedback in game of what they like and what they're not liking and what keeps them playing and keeps their interest and say, great, let's change the game in that direction. Is the typical consumer or the typical gamer interested in free to play? I think they are. I mean, I think that there's some really fantastic games out there that honestly have millions and millions of players playing and to call them not core gamers, I think would be probably the wrong way to go. Um, at the end of the day, really, again, it comes down to the experience. If we do a good job of offering um, a good experience at you know the right price for the consumer, I think they'll enjoy it. Um, you know, like any kind of game uh, games and business models, I think it really comes down to do you give a quality offering. If you don't give a quality offering, then it's not going to work. That's all there is to it. How do we make a good experience that will keep those players engaged for a long time? And so that is the difficulty with free-to-play games is you have to capture their imagination at the very beginning and you have to have an experience that will last them over many years and keep them engaged. I mean, again, going back to television, you can capture me right at the beginning and if you have a good story that lasts years and years and years, you'll probably keep me and I'll keep coming back. But if you don't, if it's just that one story that kind of interests me and the next episode is completely off the rails, then I'm not going to come back. I think there'll still be box products for a long period of time. Um, I think the question is, is how rapidly it gets pulled down. Um, at the end of the day, you know, though, I think it's going to, it, the landscape's going to shift quite a bit, and EA's made a position on that. EA is looking at digital and going directly to the consumer, and I think that speaks volumes about where we think this industry's going.